What's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And this is going to be a rather fun video. It looks like I've got some lint and crap all collected on my speaker there. <sighs> all right, just uh, kind of, you know, blew some hair on it and with my mouth and it looks like it's gone. But, uh, well, this is going to be a rather fun video because it's going to be about expandable external storage on your Nexus 6 or your Nexus 7 or your Nexus 5 because it does work on this method will work on the nexus 5 as well nexus 7 nexus 9 nexus well no nexus 4 doesn't support usb otg so it's not going to work on there but uh i do want to go ahead and talk about something real quick man this battery has been amazing it charges fully uh it used to be an hour and 30 minutes i don't know why it jumped to two hours and 10 minutes but a battery usually charges usually lasts about one day 15 hours and i've probably charged this thing five or six times with this app installed but uh so if we go to the battery here, you're gonna look you're gonna see something quite impressive. Uh as of eleven thirty at six PM, I was a hundred percent, and now I am at like twenty four percent with sixteen hours left. So I and I've I've actually been using this phone quite a bit. The screen on time probably won't be crazy. Nope, not crazy, but it has incredible standby time. I was losing barely any percentage until I started like actively using the phone with the screen on for a while. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, there are multiple different things you can use. This is a Minova micro SD card reader. This is the first gen model. You can't actually buy these anymore. You have to buy the all the new ones. And the new ones are a little bit different because the light is not right here. It's at the bottom here. I actually keep one on my crazy keychain here. See, this is the newer model. I just have it right here, and at any given moment, I've got 32 gigs of storage on this little SD card reader. This is the new one. They're a little bit different. I've done a video on both of these, so all you got to do is search www.joshdew, Minova, M-E-E-N-O-V-A. They're just two different ones. This one's newer than this one, but yeah, so they're both the same thing, just, you know, newer versions of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and demo that. Also, there are this one right here, which is a... Actually, one that I recommend because it's an all-in-one. One end goes into your computer, and it is USB 3.0, so it is very fast. And then you plug this in into your phone. So with these, you got to have this little middleman here to plug this in to it, and then you plug it into your computer, and you transfer the files to the SD card. Plus, you have to make a separate purchase of the SD card. If you have an SD card from your old phone laying around, and you want to use that on your phone, then this actually might be the better option because you already have the SD card and you already have all the files on it and you go that route. But this is only a USB 2.0 connection. So you'll have to get a USB 3.0 card reader if you have a very fast micro SD card. Otherwise, you're only going to get USB 2.0 speeds. And you also have another option. This is from Kingston. This is actually like... Uh, this end goes into your phone, and then this end goes into your computer. But one thing I don't like about this one is if you have a case on your phone, then this right here is not going to clear it. It's just this part right here ruins it for me. I like it because it fits fine, and without a case, there's no issues. But with a case, that, that that's just too wide, and it just doesn't fit. The best one out of all these, if you have like a... OtterBox on your phone, for example, is this little guy from Pluggable. And this little guy right here is only $9.99. So this is the cheapest of the pile. And you can get this with Prime, which is free shipping and no taxes on Amazon if you want to go that route. Uh, depends on your state. In Missouri, there's no taxes on Amazon. And with this one, you actually just stick a little micro SD card in this end right here. And then you plug that in your computer. So with this one, all you need is this one guy right here. You just put the SD card in like that. And then you plug this into the USB port on your computer or you plug it into the bottom of your phone. So you've got many different options. And what's nice about that is you can hot swap. You can take all these different SD cards and switch them out on the fly. And it doesn't matter at all. It's, it's actually very cool. So if you have a 32 gig micro SD card or a 16 gig or something like that and you have no use for it, definitely get something like this. If you don't have that, definitely get something like this. This one is like a lot bigger. It sticks out a lot on your phone. So that's something you're going to have to consider. When you plug this into the bottom of like we'll say this phone here. 
And then we'll take this one and plug it into the bottom of our Nexus 5 here. And you can see the difference they make in the thumbprint, like in how much room they take up. Like that's significantly more room when you're watching a YouTube video. Or if you put a movie on here and you're trying to watch it on a flight or something, you are you have way more sticking out and way more of a chance of that getting like bumped, hit, bent, or busted or something than this little bitty guy right here does. So that is one plus. But on the flip side of things, you have to have that so that you don't have to carry this in your pocket also. So either way, you're, <laughs> there's stuff to lose and there's stuff to gain. I really like this combination right here because this is USB 3.0. Okay, I know it's taking me a minute to actually put it in the phone and show you everything. So let's go ahead and do that now. This is my favorite of all these. I really like this one a lot because the USB 3.0 is plenty fast. I can get like 50 megabytes per second. Um, I don't remember that's read or write, but it's still very fast. So plug into the bottom of our Nexus 6 here. And that is one thing I don't like is the light is on the other side. And so when you have a Nexus device where the port's like that, it doesn't work that way. But on a device like this, you, you've got the port upside down. So you would just take it like this and plug it in. And on here, you can see the little blue light on this one, letting you know there's activity. And I like the activity light. Both of these have activity lights. This one does not have a light. So you don't, you can't troubleshoot. My phone's not reading it. Is this thing broken? Is my phone broken? Is my USB port broken? On here, you have a light letting you know there's data activity going on. On this one, you don't. Even with the newer version of this, you have a tiny little light down here. It's hard to see, but it's there if you want to look real close and see if there's activity going on. So when you first plug it in, there's not much you can do. We'll open up ES File Explorer which is my preferred file browser. And there isn't an option for USB. If you have a custom ROM or a custom kernel, that you might see an option for USB. Like on the Moto G, for example, if you plug one of these into the bottom of the Moto G, you will see USB up there. If you plug in the bottom of a Samsung or an HTC device, you will see that external storage right here. But on a Nexus device, you have to be rooted or you have to download an app called Nexus Media Importer. Nexus Media Importer is a paid app, but it will let you transfer files back and forth so that way you don't have to. You, with Nexus Media Importer, you're if you put the file on here like the movie, you're importing it onto here or you're exporting it. Like you can't open Titanium Backup and tell Titanium Backup to store all of your things on here. So that's one of the downsides of not being rooted. If you are rooted, you can install an app called Stick Mount. There is a free version. Unlike Nexus Media Importer, which is a paid app, and then if you want, you can pay for the pro version, and this is the same exact guy that gives us SuperSU, which is how you grant apps root access. So now that both of those are installed, it says, do you want to download some add-ons? I always choose yes. Now, you can su now this will support NTFS and XFAT formatted drives. So no thanks. I'm going to unplug this and then I'm going to grant this super user permission. And now when I plug this in, there's going to be some magic. You're going to see what happens here in a second. It's going to pop up something. Hopefully there we go. Open stick mount when USB, I always choose use by default and hit okay. And then you're going to see that it's searching for partitions on the drive and it's going to see leaf bridge Sweet. So now when we open up ES File Explorer, we we won't see the flash drive right there, but what we can do is go to USB storage or wherever that's at. Maybe I gotta refresh the apps. The there we go. Now USB storage is on here, leaf bridge, and now these are all the files that are on this thing. So if I have an 8 gig or a 10 gig MKV, I could press on that MKV and just start watching it right from my phone without transferring that file to my phone to watch it. So if you have like a little four gig Moto E, for example, which if you're following me on Instagram, I got a Moto E for $9.99 today. $9.99. Check my Instagram if you don't believe me. Thanks to the whole uh, uh, Cyber Monday deal at Walmart. Nine. Ten dollars for a Moto E. It only has four gigs of internal storage, but with this sixty-four gig drive right here, 
And that's something else. You can get these in 16 gigs, 32 gigs, 64 gigs. You know, you can get them in the size that you want them. Or you can get one of these and, you know, get a 32 gig card for it. And this one right here, this one will actually support a 128 gigabyte SD card, which is crazy. Okay, so this is a file that's on the leaf bridge here. Let me go ahead and open it with VLC. And this light will start flashing. And now it's letting me know that the video is playing. And on here you can see that we're watching the video that's on this leaf bridge. The little light's flashing. This was an amazing save. It's very short. Hold on, go back. Th that was, it was, this was an amazing save. So let's watch that with VLC. I just let you check this out. It's very short. I was playing Hill Climb Race. I was like, oh, should I go back for the gas? Oh crap, no, 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 no. And then, and then I made it back over. That was pretty freaking awesome, so I had to save that. Also, we can view a time lapse that we have stored on here. But, like, we could take an app that's on our computer, transfer it using the USB port, and then plug the other one into our phone, and now we can install APKs. Or, for example, if you have Twerp Recovery, you can plug this into the bottom of your phone while you're in recovery, and all these ROMs on here... I can flash them. Like, I can go ahead and go download the ROMs for the Nexus 5, download the ROMs for the LG G3, and then download a ROM for my Nexus 6, and all three the all three ROMs are on this little guy right here, and I can plug this into any of these phones and flash the ROM. Okay, I'm done. Unplug it. Put it into this one. Flash the ROM. Okay, I'm done. Plug it into this one. And so you can have your internal storage completely wiped with not a single thing on there and have tons of free storage. So, for example, I bought the uh, Eminem CD, and then I ripped it to my computer. And uh, I believe I don't know if this one's FLAC, but these are all files that are on here, and it's flashing. And then we can go back and play this song. All right, so long story short, this is how you can play a movie that's abs a huge freaking movie that you don't want to put on your internal storage. You can do an Android backup of your phone onto your external storage so you don't have to ever worry about, you know, losing it. And you could transfer it to your computer and then put it in your Dropbox folder and sync it there. I mean, there's so many uses for this. Personally, I would store a huge movie on here, like an 8 gig 1080p movie, and if I was on a flight, on a train, or even like my daughter's in the car or something, I could plug this into her phone, or or this phone, or this phone, or anybody's phone, and watch that movie, play that music, transfer that file. For example, what if we recorded a video in our folder here, camera, and let's view the size down, so the biggest one's up here. I can take this, hit copy, go to USB storage, which is where your stuff's going to be. Go to LeafBridge and paste it there. And now this two gig file, uh, I should have moved it, but I copied it. But if you are moving it, this two gig file is now going on here and it will no longer be on your phone if you're moving it. And as you can see by the speed it's going, this is a very fast process. All right, so you could have just freed up two gigs right there. And if you had a phone with like eight gigs of storage, <laughs> there you go. And how you're going to eject this drive from your phone safely is all you do is drag down here. And if you do not see an option to unmount, you can press on it and it will take you to the app or you can find it in your app drawer right here. And then you can hit the unmount button or you can just do two fingers on that notification right there and hit unmount, which is the quickest and easiest way to do it. And you'll see a little thing here at the bottom that said it's safely unmounted. And we should see that option's gone. It says active mounts none. We can unplug that. And now that two gig file that we transferred, let's see if it's on here. And then we'll end the video. We'll see if it's on here. It should pop up asking me, hey, do you want to use this? There we go. Okay, just like we did before. There we go, it mounted the leaf bridge. Now we go to ES File Explorer and 
We go to our USB storage. USB storage, leaf bridge, and then in here will be that video that we transferred over. Let's do ES Media Player. Lights flashing, letting you know there's activity going on. So you can pretend that was a movie, and now you're watching on your phone. And just, again, if it's like that, you just do two fingers down, unmount it, give it a second to unmount it. And then optionally, we can just use this real quick to show you that too. The little light pops up, used by default, yes. It's going to find that partition. All right, found it. So let's open up ES File Explorer. And see, it can't play the video anymore because it's no longer on the drive. We're going to go ahead and clear this. Go home. Refresh. And now we're going to go to USB storage. And here's all the stuff that's on here. Here's all the stuff. I was trying to learn how to crack WEP better uh, than my old tool that I used to use. But uh... And see, there's a SuperSU zip. I just transfer that onto this thing. I plug this into all the phones and I update SuperSU via Torp Recovery to save time. Unmount that. It says active mounts none. And we can go ahead and <laughs> plug this in. And see on here, there's no lights or activity or to let you know something's happening. So you just kind of got to hope everything's working. And we'll go to ES Fall Explorer. It mounted it, found the Kingston partition. So now we'll go to US, we'll refresh this. And we'll go to USB storage, Kingston. And here's all the stuff that's on here. <laughs> so our titanium backup folder, if we open the titanium backup app, check this out, check this out. All right, so titanium backup is now installed. Let's go ahead and grant it root access. We're going to go to I'll skip all these things here. Uh, mount user space. We'll fix that later. All right. Menu preferences, backup folder location, detect, whole device. And you should see USB storage right there. USB storage, Kingston Titanium backup. Use current folder. Go back. And now you'll see right there that it's saving everything and reading everything from that directory. So now, our, if we back up an app on here, we can plug this into this phone and restore that app. This, I'm telling you, this is absolutely essential. Either way, either one of these, you can't go wrong. You've got all the options. You can choose which one will suit you better, which one you'll need more. I, it's, I'm telling you, you can expand the storage on your Nexus device and you don't need a micro SD card. Micro SD cards are more convenient because you don't have to have something plugged into the bottom of your phone and you can't be charging your phone while it's plugged into the bottom. So micro SD cards are still awesome and I wish, you know, I wish these did have a micro SD card considering it could easily fit one in there, but it is what it is. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.